introduce yourselves. Hey, Asmin, I'm Kalena from Hyperglade. I'm Lakshan from Hyperglade. Malinda from Hyperglade. Um, Adam Manaji from Hyperglade. So you guys have started or kicked off uh, Heal Sri Lanka. Could you tell us about the project? Sure thing. So Sri Lanka is currently going through one of the worst economic crises in its history and the rupee has become one of the worst performing currencies and this has created a shortage of uh, critical supplies and one of the most terrifying outcomes of this is the shortage of medicine. So our team, we came together and we spoke to a bunch of creators from Sri Lanka who are inspired by the events that are going on and they have put uh, artworks, music, poems out and we want to use them, create NFTs out of that and raise funds for this medical crisis that's ongoing in Sri Lanka at the moment. So you guys are specifically uh, just targeting medicine? Uh, the donations are targeted towards the medical uh, shortage at the moment and that is what the NFT collection is focused for. Okay, let's get talking about the NFT collection. Um, are there names that you have on board? Are there artists who have already submitted and also are there artists who can't submit? Uh, so right now we have uh, talked to a few artists and we have uh, launched the website healsrilankanft.com where you can see some of the artworks that will be in the collection and we have opened it up for creators to submit their work and then we will go through their uh, submissions and select a few more there will be a total of 20 different artworks in the collection and so these are earmarked at a hundred dollars each and upwards or how does it work so it's uh, earmarked at hundred dollars so 90 percent of the proceeds will directly go for the course and 10% will go for the creators and if the creators wish to donate it to uh, the course they can sure do that but uh, we have set 10% for the creators if they really want to keep it for themselves so that's that's how it works. Is this going to be auction styled or just like set at $100? No, it's uh, more like e-commerce style. Uh, there's going to be uh, 20 artworks and uh, 500 copies each so a uh, total of 10,000 uh, arts and if uh, everything goes well we are hoping to raise one million dollars out of the whole uh, process the question of transparency because a lot of Lankans are critical about where money goes uh, where would the money be channeled to so when it comes to nfts these are stored on the blockchain so it's publicly visible how the funds are coming to us and how the funds are going uh, for instance, let's say we sell 500 NFTs from a particular artist. Anybody can see how much was raised from there and what account that money went to. This takes a few minutes on the internet just to see uh, the history of the blockchain and verify this information. And the money that we are raising will be uh, donated using two trackers that are set up from one is Watchdog Tracker and the other is GMOA Tracker. Watchdog Tracker uh, uh, reports what kind of medicine is in shortage at a hospital level and the GMOA reports at a national level. So we have spoken to both these entities and we will be utilizing these systems to ensure that not only transparency but efficiency in the system because if you don't uh, directly just put it into a number of medicine that is in short supply without checking the live status of that, that will be a waste. So we want to make sure it's transparent and efficient at the same time. When do you hope to kick off the sales of NFTs? We'll be ready by the 20th of May, which is in a couple of weeks, uh, which is in a few days. So we're looking forward to rolling it out. And I remember um, like a few weeks ago for the Pem Kekula NFT launch, which unfortunately didn't happen because of the country situation, you guys were opening it up to uh, credit cards as well. Uh, and debit cards, we should be doing the same for this as well? Or is it going to be crypto only? So uh, uh, I think the initial reveal uh, would be on uh, Solana, which uh, pretty much would be uh, crypto only. Uh, but uh, so we have 10,000 uh, NFTs releasing. Uh, the po a portion of it would be on uh, Solana, crypto only, that would be the very first reveal. Uh, and then a portion would be uh, available in our marketplace, hybridate.com, uh, which uh, would be purchasable using credit cards and other fiat vehicles. Well, that's brilliant. And what if um, I really don't have Solana, but I've got Ethereum or one of those other currencies? Can I still purchase them? Absolutely. So uh, you could either, uh, if you have a Solana wallet, you could do a uh, you know fund transaction exchange of your Ethereum into Solana and take it using uh, coins, 
all uh, to hypergate.com uh, where you could do uh, you could do coin payment from the selected set of coins uh, which uh, in which Ethereum is found. So yeah. Cool. Is, is there anything else that you guys want to add in closing? Sri Lanka is currently going through an unprecedented crisis when it comes to economy and it has uh, basically trickled down into a bigger problem when it comes to medicine because people are dying for, uh, because of the lack of uh, medicine in the hospitals. So uh, through this uh, collection we are trying to help the best that we can to help the situation in Sri Lanka. So we uh, invite you and we actually request you to spread the message and uh, uh, spread the message across the platforms that you are in uh, via social media so that more people can join and help Sri Lanka to get through this difficult time and we are sure that Sri Lanka will emerge stronger through this crisis.